I just go for the meeting is got it. All right. So a quick brief on today's meeting agenda. As you know, this is one of the first meet and greets hosted by Coaching Journey. So today we just want to know each other really well. So we are doing the meet and greet part first, where we'll be sharing some questions which will come on your screen in a minute, and we'll discuss this amongst ourselves. You can put them over the chat, or you can also unmute yourself and speak on video. The second part of today's agenda is to discuss the community initiatives. As you know, Coaching Journey is a growing and evolving community. Right now, we are very excited to share a couple of initiatives we are working on with different sets of coaches. So we'll be talking in detail about that. And for the end, we have something exciting, which is a claim it activity, which will be run by Namruta. So with that said, let's discuss and let's let, get to know each other well. So the first activity is meet and greet. So uh, we would want to know the following details about you. You can either uh, wish to type, if you wish to type, you can uh, drop them in the chat box. The questions are, what's your name? Where are you based? What's your current credential goal in terms of coaching? If you have any coaching speciality, if you would like to share your LinkedIn URL, and what are you expecting from the coaching journey community? And how, could you, how can you contribute to the community? So uh, while the rest, um, rest of the participants enter that information in the chat, um, I would request uh, maybe Kenneth, maybe you would, would you like to start and share? Can you hear me, Kenneth? Well, I, I thought you took my name, but I wasn't sure. Yes, um, happy, happy to start. So um, hi, everyone. This is um, Kenneth Wheeler. I'm based out of Gurgaon. On the credential goal, I've set myself up towards the ACC level. So in the beginning phase of the coaching journey from that aspect, coaching speciality is work in progress for me to define and put the niche, but I'm leveraging towards the professional side of my work and experience and maybe cater to from the domain of uh, the umbrella under the HR, look at um, career transitioning, look at leadership coaching, first-time manager coaching, executive coaching as well. LinkedIn URL I'll put on the chat. What are you expecting from the community? So this community is, is like a wonderful platform for each one of us to really share our best practices, understand the opportunity for us to explore the areas that we don't know, and that could be like a diverse portfolio, which we we'll talk about a little um, in a forward in the conversations. I don't want to give too much. But for me, the essence is how can we handhold each other and ensure that we are supporting and becoming equal partners towards each other's success in different phase of the coaching journey where we might be. How can you contribute to the community? Well, first up, one, one was to volunteer and be the part of the community builder. So thank you to Sunil and Sandeep for that opportunity. And outside that, it is also to build connections and wherever possible, if there is a direct help or indirect help that can be passed on to someone that can either learn from my experience or exchange those notes and conversation that helps us move forward in the coaching ecosystem is, is the way that I'd see how I would contribute to the community. Thank you, Jazz. Thank you so much, Kenneth, for sharing. Um, we do have some time, so let's hear from uh, Ritika. Ritika, is it possible for you to be on camera? Hello. I just joined, so I'm assuming that we answer the questions on the screen. Yeah, that's right. Got it. So as you can see, my name is Ritika. I'm based out of Bengaluru. I have completed my ACC certification and I'm on my journey towards PCC. Coaching specialty, more in the leadership development, executive coaching space, though I do try out other spaces as well, depending on what the coachee brings up. So not entirely defined. LinkedIn URL, of course, I'll put that on chat. What I'm expecting from the community, I think, is one, just to continue to learn about this space. Uh, 
I think two more specific things. One is as I'm working towards my PCC, I want to continue to have peer coaching hours. So that's one, uh, one expectation. The second, I think, is in the long run, currently I'm working, so it, it gets very tight. But in the long run, I do think about, you know, branching off and being a coach more as a business, more as a full-time sort of, uh, you know, thing to, to, to look at. So that's something I thought, you know, if there's notes, if people have done it before, I'd love to hear. How I can con contribute, I think, is again in the coaching expertise itself, my experiences being a peer coach, as well as uh, I think given I've been part of the learning and development field uh, for the last, you know, about 13 years, whatever experiences I have from there, I'm happy to share. Yeah, I'll pause there. Thank you so much, Shatika. Uh, Namrata, can we go with one more? Yeah, 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 yeah. We can go with one more, and then we can switch it off to Sunil. Pass it on. To All Sunil. right. So, um, I'm just picking a random name here again. So, Guru Hari. Would you? Was it? Is it possible for you to be on camera, Guru? Thank you, thank you. I was very anticipating that you will call my name, and uh, I have managed. <laughs> so, <laughs> thank you, and I don't know why. Um, the name is Guru Nath Hari. Uh, Guru is purely a short form of my name. It has no other implications. If anybody is getting mixed up, I want to be very clear. Uh, it has no implications. Uh, I'm based in Singapore. Uh, current credentials, I just uh, got my membership with ICF yesterday, I did it yesterday. Uh, like... Uh, Somebody just now said, I'm sorry, I couldn't get the name. Who was our first speaker? I missed it. Kenneth, yeah. Kenneth, yeah. As Kenneth said, you know, uh, I'm just on a journey to ACC. Coaching specialty, I'm still discovering it. It's been amazing, you know, all the experiences. I've, I've coached from fresh graduates uh, to mid-career to senior people and... Uh, Touchwood, you know, it's worked out very well for the clients. Uh, yes, LinkedIn URL coming up soon. Uh, what are you expecting from the community? You know, I, I think there's so much of tremendous depth of knowledge in this group. It's mind boggling. So I just want to just learn, keep my ears open and uh, just learn from you guys. And whatever little two cents I may be able to contribute. Yeah, please go ahead and grab it. There's not much you can grab from me anyway. I don't know anything at all. So, yeah, but I do have some, you know, interest in well-being. So that's something topic that we can discuss. Uh, how can you contribute to the community? Yeah, uh, maybe if well-being is of interest to people, um, you know, I can share my two cents about it. Uh, I wrote a book uh, in 2014, which by accident became a Amazon bestseller in 2016. So, yeah, maybe if you guys want to know about it, you know, I can share something more. Yeah, thank you so much, uh, Jas, and uh, I better sign off and be a listener. Thank you so much, Guru. And I think you should please share the name of your book in the chat as well. If people are interested, you'll definitely check that out. All right. So um, I, I see chat box uh, keep binging, and I hope the rest of you are also entering your information here. I'll, I'll keep the screen on for just another minute. And for the next slide, I'll be passing it on to Sunil, who will be introducing you to the community initiatives that we are really excited to share with you today. So I'll stop sharing my screen and over to you, Sunil. Thank you. <clears throat> Hello, everyone. Um, I'm glad this uh, new group of builders who have come together to start organizing this uh, event, which we expect to happen on a, I would say, monthly basis, if not um, sooner. Uh, so we intend to have the meet and greet session so that we can meet the newer coaches who are joining our community. Uh, incidentally, this month, uh, Sandeep told me that we have hit about uh, 400 coaches and I realize uh, when we started this uh, in 21, during the COVID times, uh, we were trying to figure out how we can continue to grow. So we have this good number of uh, coaches that we can do uh, reciprocal coaching with. 
a lot of people joined and left in between. And so we decided we should have other things in the group other than just reciprocal coaching. And that's how we started creating more and more programs. Uh, with 400 coaches, I think we have a, I would say, a pretty large coaching community globally. I don't think there are too many of them like this uh, that exist. We should try to see and make the best of it. So the way I was looking for at this platform was to be one of the leading, maybe ICF aligned communities that are existing across the globe and making it something like an open source so that everybody come here, get the best out of it, contribute to it and continue to grow it. So I'll try to see if I can share some slides, uh, just if that's okay. I don't know if I have rights to share. So you, are, you can share, you can share. Okay, wonderful. So here I go. I, I think it will, yeah. Okay, uh, is my screen visible? Not yet. Not uh, yet. Okay, so then I will have a challenge. So uh, just can you share uh, from the slides I've sent you? Sure, just mm -hmm. give me a second, I'll do that. Because it's asking me to quit and join back again, so I don't want to do that. Okay, so um, basically, uh, as a part of the community, you already are involved in uh, reciprocal coaching is the first thing that we really started off. And uh, post that, we wanted to get into other activities. So we went ahead and started what we called as the coaching conversation, where we could share uh, between each other and look at various other aspects. You have a challenge? Yeah, I think um, I let, do, let I me, just, yeah. Let me share, uh, actually Sunil has shared it in the group. So let me share the screen, I, I'll share it. Okay, thanks. The one, yeah, the one Sunil you have shared in the group, right? That's right, thank you. Yeah. 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 So uh, s some of the things that we have already started now, uh, apart from, uh, peer coaching is, you know, we've started event hosting. So the first event that we hosted was by Kenneth and by Vivek on the business of coaching uh, side of the activity where we had a conversation, a fireside chat. Uh, that's something that's now we have enough events that we have lined up for this quarter. Uh, Namrata and team are really driving those events. We've been doing, I would say, mocks almost on a daily basis. Uh, these are quizzes that are getting created. Uh, we have Yash, who is organizing coaching observations, and you will see some calendar events being rolled out for that, where uh, there are people who require feedback on how their coaching is happening. So getting our own coaches as a panel to be able to help you with that is, the, is one of the initiatives that we have already launched. Uh, so these are specific events that we have already underway. Uh, business of Coaching is one group that we have, we have already started. It's not showing up on the screen here yet, but uh, that's something that we have already started. And those who are already in the entrepreneurial journey and need support, uh, that's a group that we thought will create a network of people there. We have about 60 coaches who are already on that journey in that group. And if you want to be there, uh, we can you can join that as well. The reason why we have these separate groups is to ensure that those people who are not interested in some of those conversations uh, need not get bothered by the noise uh, in those groups. So if you are uh, clear that you just want reciprocal coaching, then you can just stay on the meetups group. If you want to be in the conversation discussing about coaching with other coaches, then the conversation group is for you as well. Uh, if you want to talk about the business, not just about the coaching, then the business of coaching group comes in. So that's how we have segregated it. Uh, apart from this, we also have two other uh, quick uh, groups that we created uh, recently. Uh, those were basically to elevate the coaching conversation. Uh, so we created a group called Journey to 
a PCC. This is basically for those coaches who have already completed their foundation ACC or have done at least 200 to 250 hours of coaching. So they can be in a particular group, create a network so that they can get down to their PCC level of coaching amongst their co peer coaches. So that's one uh, group that we created, which is called as Journey to PCC. And another group that we created was called Journey to MCC for those who have completed the PCC credential already so that you can focus on the MCC. So I've not, these are some of the initiatives that we already have. And most of these groups are for peer coaching or for sharing. But they are what we have started. We have, have a whole lot of uh, builders who have come together to make this happen. Now, builders are those who have put up their hands to offer their services to give back uh, to this community. Uh, because this community is self-run with zero, uh, I would say, commercial interest, the entire objective is to really bring each other up and hope to get something from everybody. Right. So that's that's the intent. As we go forward, there are a few initiatives that we are thinking of. Um, if you could go to the next slide. Uh, there are a whole lot of initiatives that we would like to have here. Uh, we want people to take uh, leads on discussion on our conversation group. There could be articles and posts that you want the group to review for you before you launch it on LinkedIn or Facebook or any other medium. You may have uh, your copyrights, copywriting that you want somebody to review for you. So those are things that you can get done with your peer coaches here. Book clubs is one of the ideas that came up from the group. Uh, workshops and trainings. There is a team coaching group that we have already started and we are hoping that if you have certain topics on which you want to be coached on as a team or want to run workshops, uh, we can get that organized. Research groups. So if you're running any researches and you have uh, some feedbacks that you want, a 400 coach group is a good enough, uh, I would say, platform for you to run researches. Um, any There are other areas like feedback on the day, have a weekly meeting, clubhouse calls, retreats, annual retreats. So all of these are initiatives that we have as ideas for which um, you can put up your hand and take responsibility and ownership. So what's in it for you as a part of this community is what I have on the next slide. So Namrata, if you can move to the next slide, please. Yeah, what's in it for you is basically, it's a medium to give back. There is professional growth that comes along with uh, contributing and working in a community like this, skill enhancement, network. I think uh, like you just heard, Kenneth, you heard uh, Guru Hari. Uh, there are a whole lot of coaches in this community who are accomplished in their own ways and can contrib contribute in your success. So that's uh, one space that can create, uh, this can create, that's the network that you can build here. The visibility that you can create for yourself, uh, collaboration from co coaches, uh, expanding the thinking horizon. Uh, after I've joined this community, after we started this community, uh, I, I can't say the different dimensions of people that I've worked with because I come from an IT background um, and not everybody in this community comes from that background. So it really opens up my thinking. Uh, the people that I have met on this community are really awesome. So that's, that's something that comes in by you really contributing and working in this community. Uh, you empower others. Uh, I remember when I was talking to one of our uh, peer coaches, I asked them, why are they here? So they said, oh, I can see success of these, these, these people here in this community. So it's not just about yourself. It's about you seeing others succeed, which is what this community can uh, enable as well for you. So that's about what I'm thinking this community will be. Yes, for me, this community will be one of the leading uh, communities globally, which is ICF Align, and creating programs that can help you grow as a coach. And that's our focus. So we do end up dissuading people from posting material related to 
topics outside because there are enough WhatsApp groups that we are all into with other topics. But on this community, we will probably focus purely on coaching and anything to do with coaching. If it's business of coaching, so be it. That also is coaching. So uh, with that, I can throw it open for any questions that you have. And uh, Namrata and uh, just please stop me if I'm running out of time. I think we do have time. So any, any questions? Any of the people that you have any questions, anybody on of us in the group can answer for you. I don't have a question, but I do have a comment. Mm -hmm. Go ahead. I just I just want to applaud you guys, you know. Uh, this is like I, I was at Sunil, I was at NTUC this afternoon. NTUC, for those who may not be aware, uh, is a uh, is a learning organization. And one of the topics I had with, uh, I discussed with the person who is kind of involved with coaching there is, I said, um, you know, I don't know how to ask for money. So, uh, and then I gave him a practical example where one of the girls or the, you know, the young, I talked about, right, young college graduate who just came out of polytechnic, polytechnic wanted to get coached. I coached her and uh, it was, uh, you know, paradigm shifting for her, I must humbly say. And then she asked me at the end of it, it was so amazing, how can I pay you? Or what can I pay you? And I didn't, I have a, I have a daughter who's probably older than her and uh, I didn't have the heart to, you know, even hear her asking me, what should I pay you, you know? So I just told her, you know what, you go forward, uh, accomplish what you're trying to accomplish. And then maybe if you get it, you can buy me a cup of coffee if that's what you want. But no, what I'm saying is uh, that was a joke. Uh, but, uh, but I was just saying, even if an adult were to ask me, how much would I pay you? I, I typically suck at this whole topic. So if anybody can, you know, give me the right way of putting it across without feeling guilty, uh, that will be really appreciated. Uh, they, they are, and so the guy from the person I was talking to, he said, you know, Guru, you're just paying it forward. I told him I've been paying it forward for paying a lot of things forward for a lot of time, but I also need some monetary, you know, <laughs> returns. I can't feed myself with paying forward, right? So this is one of my big, big challenges. Among the many challenges I think I have in life, but this is one of them. Guru, can I recommend watching videos on by Rich Litwin? He talks a lot it, about yeah. Rich Litwin. He's a L coach. L-I-T, V-I. V -I -I. Yeah, his name is Rich Litwin. And he's amazing in empowering you to ask for your, your the right fees and being mm -hmm. there. And um, if he talks a lot about, yeah, yeah he, he has lots of YouTube videos and... Um, He's very focused on how to ask for money. Okay, good. Thank you so much, Priya. I hope this topic resonates with you know some of the other people in this group. Can you share those details in the chat or in the group? Very curious. This rich Litman thing. I'll also try to Google him up. But yeah, I'll I'll, I'll share. Thanks, Priya. That was very helpful. Hey, thanks, Guru, for uh, opening up and being on the spot to ask a question. Uh, thanks a lot for that. Uh, I'll hand this off uh, to the next section. Uh, Yesh and uh, Namrata, you can take it over. Yeah. So before we move on to the next, uh, you know, since Sunil, you mentioned about community builders, I want Jess to introduce the team. Could you could you share that slide, please, Namrata? Is it visible now? Yeah. Thank you. So I think I'll, I'll just uh, do a quick introduction of myself. Um, I am Jaskar and I'm based out of Noida and I've just started my coaching journey. I left my IT corporate job in March because I think I was too sure that I wanted to be a coach and I just couldn't wait 
for the next chapter. And here I am. It's been a couple of months. I started with peer coaching. I am right now on my ACC pathway. I soon want to progress towards PCC. I'm excited to be part of this community. And this is my first event. And I really hope that you see me as a familiar face who will keep popping up in the future events. Thank you. Uh, thanks, uh, Jess. Uh, so anyway, I've, I've introduced myself, but just a quick one. I'm Sunil Satyanathan. I'm based out of Singapore. And uh, I work for a company called Kindrel. I'm a coach. Uh, I, I'm more a consultant than a coach. I keep getting this mixed up, but uh, I have a title called coach. Most of the work that I do is consulting, but I've started to apply my coaching skills uh, into the work. And I've been coaching uh, as a coach for almost now uh, eight years. I started the coaching journey with a credential uh, goal only in 2020. And uh, 2021 is when I started this group. And um, I think we are now slowly growing. Let me hand this off to Sandeep. Yeah, I'm Sandeep Chok, based in Delhi. Uh, I took my voluntary retirement uh, two years back. And uh, yeah, so right now, uh, involved in supporting Sunil. I think we were some of one of the initial ones who joined this group. And I think we were less than 50 when we joined. And now we have more than 400. Yeah, that's about me. And uh, over to Vivek and then Yash. Hi, everybody. My name is Vivek. Um... So I have been in this, so I started my ICF coaching journey in the July of last year. And I think I discovered this group through a Facebook group, which my coaching mentor Ujwal Ji had recommended to us. And it's been amazing to see Sunil and Sandeep really tend to do this and care for this all along. And I think it's been in the last few months that it's really taken off with a bunch of the others, everybody on this slide coming to it. All of you really participants in the groups injecting this with enthusiasm. A little bit about me, I um, I shared my LinkedIn profile, et cetera, in the chat, so I won't bore you guys with that. But what I'm doing right now is I'm focused on coaching, I think primarily entrepreneurs. And what I, along with Kenneth, will look, we recently started the business of coaching community and looking at taking that to the next level. Since I know we're running short on time, I will pass the mic to Yash and happy to connect with you guys and help you out along your journeys. Yash, over to you. Hello, everyone. Uh, so I'll just keep it short since we're running out of time. Um, uh, I uh, got into this group like a year back and uh, that was through Sandeep. Uh, I'm on my uh, MCC journey now. I've completed my PCC training and uh, I have to write my exam next week. Uh, so yeah, that's about me. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so I'll go next. Uh, okay, so hi, myself, Namrita, and I'm on my PCC journey. And uh, I am really happy to be part of this group. I was introduced in this group by one of my friends and that's how I connected with Sandeep and I'm really getting benefited from each one of us. I'm really enjoying the peer coaching sessions and I'm learning from each one of you when I'm connecting. So I'm really excited and getting nourished by, by this group. Sunita, Preeti, Deepali, Kenneth, if you would like to use one or two minutes for your introduction. Yeah. Hi, everybody. I'm Dipali. I'm from Hyderabad. Um, I've been in HR for about 17 years and transitioned as a consultant. Uh, I've just started my coaching journey very, very recently and um, just actually introduced uh, me to this group. And I'm super happy to be here with all of you all learning from each one of you all. Thank you. Okay, so I'm not sure because Kenneth have already introduced himself and I'm not sure if Sunita and Preeti are there. So just a brief, a brief introduction that, uh, you know, if you if you really want to volunteer for one, any of these sessions where you can contribute to all of us, 
we are conducting monthly summit sessions where you can nominate or uh, just message me and we can work together and there are a couple of initiatives uh, for which business vivek and kenneth are responsible for team coaching preeti is responsible and for the observe coaching session yash is responsible so you can you can connect with any of us for the respective things right okay so thank you so much jess for for starting the event and thank you so much sunil for taking us through this through the intro of our all the activities and i must thank sunil for sowing this seed of coaching journey group and sunil and sandeep for nurturing that seed so so that the tree is growing large and large and we are now 400 plus in this group and uh, so thank you so much for that and enough about so we have a lot of serious talk until now but now it's time for some fun and getting to know each other right so imagine that this is a chance to make new friends right and enjoy the relaxed time together so i personally believe that you know when we connect on a personal level it makes the whole whole experience enriching right and more enjoyable so let's change the gears from being formal to something more relaxed we are going to play a game okay which will make you smile think can maybe discover something about every one of us in the room something new about each of us right so are we ready to start the game it's super easy don't don't worry about it it's super easy so what i'll be doing is i will be sharing 10 questions on the screen and there is no right or wrong answer there are just you can share your thoughts about those things okay so what i'll be doing is i will be randomly picking up any one of you and you then have the authority to pick any one question and answer that question and the cool part is after you finish your answering you can pick up the next person so that the next person will get chance to select the question and answer so it's like passing the ball okay so are we ready and excited to start the game okay super so i am displaying the questions on the screen and i am going to give you one to two seconds for the for grasping the questions here are they okay so don't worry don't take tension i'll be selecting any one of you and then we'll pass on right mm -hmm. so let me select rahul srinivasan if you can unmute yourself and switch on your camera so that we can see you and then pick up the question and yeah, answer yes, okay. yeah sure So have to pick uh, one amongst these, right? Yes, yes. Any one question amongst this and just share the answer. Okay. The most difficult moment doesn't work. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Sorry, am I supposed to talk about this or should I like? No, no you're supposed to. You, you're supposed to talk on that question. So answer that question. Okay, so I thought I have to pick up the pick the question and someone else talks about it. No, no, no. You have to pick your question and you have to answer for your own question. <laughs> oh, okay. nice. Oh, yeah. My most difficult moment as a coach was uh, there was this uh, client who I was. Uh, <laughs> coaching and in the third or fourth session i'm not sure which one was quite a few months back uh i could notice a lot of changes in her body language uh, tonality she started crying she started throwing things around uh, it was pretty much i was pretty much freaked out i didn't know what to do at that point of time i she was like yelling so i don't know i just let it happen but uh yeah, it was pretty difficult for me to be 
at the moment, seeing all what's happening, I just had to like hold on to my emotions and uh, you know not uh, react, just uh, hold the space for her, I guess. And uh, about twenty minutes or so later, she just calmed down. She went out of the room, and uh, you know came back and said, "I'm so sorry. I lost my phone and all that. It shouldn't have happened, but." Yeah, it was uh, a difficult moment for me. Well, I would, I would, uh, uh, Sunil. We have two Sunils. <laughs> huh? Pungi, Pungi, yeah. Pungi. Okay. Pungi is such an Yes. Hello. I think I was also confused, Rahul, as to which, which Sunil you are wrestling to. <laughs> uh, it took me some time to say, okay, I am Sunil and not Kungi, you know, not here as Kungi. Uh, interesting. So I have to pick the question, right, Namruta? So, yes, yes then, you have to. Wow, my co my favorite coaching metaphor. I think I am uh, the self-proclaimed master of metaphors. So, um, for me, coaching is like, a, uh, is, is basically because I am niche agnostic. Yeah, so... I call myself as a Nimma coach or your coach. I usually explain coaching uh, with so many spaces. So I coach, I am okay to coach leaders, people, young ones, older ones, uh, on any topic. Um, so I usually look at coaching as the rice, you know, the staple food of a lot of us. And uh, leadership coaching could be, uh, say, Biryani, something else could be pilaf, something else could be uh, curd rice, rasam rice, the l long list of uh, stuff that can go along with rice. So coaching for me is, is like rice and the niche that I get to speak is all of these dishes. And uh, most of the times it elicits a response that is usually a smile and uh, a lot of the uh, say conversations get uh, really interesting after that. So that's uh, what I'd like to answer for that. So I get to pick. Um, Shivani? So, hi everyone. That I hold very dearly is uh, respect. And I think it's, it's so because of course we had one activity in my coach training during my PCC where we were talking about how our values can be our barriers or roadblocks. And we kind of went into a really detailed uh, understanding of what, which value do we can come in our way of us holding space. And for me, that was respect. And I realized that if I don't respect the person sitting in front of me, or I don't feel respected, that basically comes in the way of me holding the unconditional open non-judgmental space for my clients um, also it shows up in my life in different ways like if someone's not on time it makes me feel like they're not respecting time um, so yeah respect is that value uh, okay I get to pick someone one sec uh, I like to pick uh, Leela Venkatesh Satish I think okay yeah uh, thanks Shivani uh, hi everyone. So I'm Satish. Uh, my full name is Leela Venkat Satish, but you can call me Satish. So uh, the question I would like to pick is like uh, the most rewarding coaching experience. So when I say the reward, it's not even the monetary purpose, but it is like the uh, making the client uh, identify what's their uh, goal or what's the solution they are looking for what's the thing so one of the instance like i had a coaching conversation with one of my employee within my organization and uh i towards end of the conversation uh the employee mentions that is this is what i'm looking for almost like 
two years, I got stuck with this and you helped me with the coaching conversation. Realize what I have to do next or where I got stuck. Thanks for having this conversation. So at that moment, I felt like it was like really, uh, it, it, it can't be measured in any monetary things as such, right? So that, that is what I felt like it is a really helpful or I mean, happy moment for me as a coach and for the client as well. That's uh, from my side. Okay. Uh, I would like to pick uh, Guru Hari next. Thank you, Leela Venkata Satish. Um, actually, this question was already taken by somebody. Is it okay, Amrita, if I repeat the yeah, question yeah, or I must take something? It's not absolutely good. fine. Absolutely fine. You can repeat the question. I see, I see. Um, maybe I should share about difficult moment as a coach. What happened was, uh, you know, we were doing peer coaching. And uh, as you know, many of us go to Facebook na, for getting peer coaches. So uh, there was this lady who reached out to me from the Middle East. <clears throat> That's about as much as I can tell you about revealing about who this person is. Um, and I lived there for, for, for quite a while. So I'm kind of familiar with the kind of people who are there. And uh, before the coaching started, I had made some mental plans about, you know, roughly how I would introduce ourselves, you know, break the ice, so to say. And then, you know, because as we all know, uh, I'm sure of all of us, I can say the word all because chemistry is important, right? Establishing chemistry. Is, is that something that you all uh, have been told or is just few of us maybe is there yeah so uh, even if you're doing a peer coaching now at least for me i would like to have at least five to seven to ten minutes maybe max to get to know who my you know who are we meeting with and what's a little bit of the background uh, so i tried to do that and the first shock i had was that lady was completely disinterested so I said, okay, you know, because, you know, uh, versatility in social style is important. So I said, that's fine. So I, I could read her and I said, okay, that, if that's the case, you know, we can quickly move on. And then uh, we went around like this for a while. And eventually we got down to the actual coaching. And uh, I said, you know, you can coach me first. And then she began to coach me. Uh, and it was the, sorry to say, I can genuinely say it was the worst experience I had as a client because it was borderline rude. Uh, and then at the end of the torturous 40 or 30 minutes that I had with her, can, he, can anybody guess what was her feedback to me as a client? You're not open to coaching. You're not <laughs> borderline. <laughs> borderline. <laughs> Butter and Kenneth, you know, she said you were deliberately trying to not be coached. Yeah. And I can honestly say that was 100% not what I was doing. She was not able to come to any kind of, a, you know, landing point, if I may use the word. And she is just put the whole blame on me. And then ended up saying, you know, now is. I, I think, do you want to coach me? She asked me. I said, you know, respectfully, I don't think I need that. But she said, I don't mind reciprocating, which means she's like forcing herself to be a client just to reciprocate. Uh, I respectfully said, you know, you don't have to you know, do that. I'm fine. Please go ahead and clock this time. Uh, but uh, I think we should leave it there. So, yeah. Uh, so this was one of my experiences. Sorry for taking too much time. Yes, thank you. Thank you so much, Guru, for sharing. And uh, you can pick one more due to time constraint. We cannot pass it on to everyone. Uh, others mm -hmm. who have, who didn't get a chance can start typing. Just pick up your one question and start typing in the chat. So you can pick up one more and then. Uh, uh, so right now, I think only two are left, Madhulika and Arun. Okay. So we can. So we can, we can. Yeah, yeah, sure. So, Guru, you have two options. Okay. Arun, is it? 
Yeah, so you can pick up anyone from Madhulika and Arun. Madhulika and Arun. Okay, I shall uh, respect our sister Madhulika. I think she just messaged that she's leaving. So. Perfect. Then, uh, then I shall forward it to my brother Arun. Thank you, brother Guru, also based in Singapore, <laughs> like me. Oh, um, you're very okay. I didn't know that. Well done. Yes. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. So, uh, yeah. So I, I. So Guru, I'm just curious. What question? I stepped out for like a minute. What question did you actually answer? I was answering my worst coaching experience. Oh, okay. Got it. Thanks. So, What's so I want to top right you. one. The most difficult moment. Oh, the most difficult moment is coaching. Okay. I, I wanted to pick up. How much time do we have? Uh, oh, okay. Maybe a couple of minutes. Yeah. So I wanted to pick one thing I'd like to share about myself. Um, so I, I've, um, I've just, I'm 62, so I'm pro I don't know where that, that's, I'm on the age spectrum in terms of all you wonderful guys, but, uh, it's been a great introduction in coaching journeys. I want to thank Sunil and, and Sandeep particularly for, uh, for bringing me in. I, I started my coaching journey about five months ago, um, had a long corporate career of, uh, Whatever you can call it, right? Facilitation, um, leading, uh, directing, whatever you call it, right? Um, con con counseling, consulting. And we used to misuse the word coaching a lot. So whenever a boss would tell me, let me coach you, he really meant let me advise you or let he, he automatically, that word let me coach you would put him on a higher platform than me. Whereas the, the most humbling thing for me in Rogerian coaching has been exact opposite. So I wish I had come across coaching uh, earlier in my life. And I'm very envious of a lot of you guys with lovely HR and L&D careers who, who kind of early on in your life are coming across this, this wonderful practice of uh, Rogerian coaching. But anyway, the thing that I wanted to share about myself was quite independent of me, even knowing that such a beautiful practice exists, which by the way, in corporate life, at least the tech sector uh, life I spent over decades, this wasn't being practiced. No, -uh, not at all. Let, let's be clear. So the, the word coach was being misused uh, to mean, let me advise you, which is the exact opposite, right? So, but I, what I wanted to share is at many points in my life, people have just come struck conversation and would start confiding. And I didn't know what's in it in my, I was pretty uncomfortable because I was private by nature and I wouldn't open up and confide to people that I just met. Hey, say, hey, hi, how are you? We just hit upon a conversation in a party or in a gathering or in a meeting or um, a town hall or all hands or what do you call it? And uh, I would not open up. Uh, I was private, but people would open up. And it was this, there was no particular gender bias here. You know, across the board, they, they would open up. And I would listen and obviously hold their confidence and obviously not talk about it. I didn't know what is it about me that comes across as being trusting in nature. I have not quite figured that out yet because I possibly have some big blinds that I don't know, both positive and negative. But I'm just curious that in my coaching journey, I don't know how much I'd be able to uh, utilize this kind of strength that I have um, because to me, the fundamental thing as I've understood coaching to be is this trusted, safe psychological space um, that's almost foundational for any uh, good coaching conversation to have. Um, and, and I'm just curious as I engage. And one of the things I'd like to do from this group, which, of course, uh, I didn't get an opportunity to answer, but I'm going to steal this few moments to, uh, to share is it, it's a wonderful group. I'd like to have the fortune of... of um, having reciprocal coaching uh, slots with every one of you in this group. Um, I'm, I'm basically looking for a PCC. I've more or less decided not to do an ACC. And it's like, a, it's like Mount Everest before me. I am making painfully slow progress. And uh, it's, it's because I'm enjoying every conversation, uh, but I'm not hustling and pushing to clock the hours. And I'm, I'm just up against that. Um, so maybe there's a blind that one of you guys can coach me out of, um, but um, I would like to be your trusted um, peer coach both ways. So that's just something I wanted to share with you. Thank you. 
Thank you, thank you so much. And we have one more who's left, Priya. So Priya, please pick up any one question and sh share your experience. Would like to hear from you. Uh, you're you're muted. Please unmute. Yeah, I just typed it in the chat, thinking I won't get a chance. Um, the coach who inspires me the most is uh, a Greek uh, American um guy but he's greek origin and he um um is a professor in i can't remember which university now um in the us uh anyway but he's written this book called helping people change his name is richard boyatsi and i just find him exceptionally natural and spiritual in nature and all encompassing and just has um such a beautiful belief that all human beings are so beautiful and perfect and amazing that he just sends that energy um, into his work. Um, and I just find him very inspiring. Thank you so much for all, uh, for sharing the lovely stories with all of us. And now, uh, you know, in the chat, Yash is going to share one form. It just, it'll take two minutes, okay, to fill, it's a feedback form. And uh, and we are going to have one poll, which will appear on your screen. Yes, will you please share the poll so that everyone can? Yes. So. So how would you rate the overall experience of this particular session? One being poor and five being excellent. Okay, so thank you so much. And I would really like you to please go through the form and fill, fill the form so that, you know, we get the feedback. And it will help us to improve the experience in, in the next session. I couldn't manage to give the feedback. It closed before I could press. Ah, okay, is it? Uh, it's a five. It's a five, okay. <laughs> In the, it's in the chat. Oh, the poll. Okay. okay. Yeah. The feedback I'm going to relaunch if you have missed. So Please keep a look. Okay, so I'm understanding everyone in the room is enjoying the session or have enjoyed the session and now would like to hear from you in the form that there are two, three questions. I'm not going to reveal those questions over here. So please go and take time to fill the form and thank you so much for making time for this session. And Sunil or Sandeep, anyone would like to share anything for the closing? Um, nothing else. Thanks. Thanks a lot, team, for organizing this. Uh, Namrata to you, Ujjas, uh, Yashaswini. I think uh, a lot of you have done a lot of work to get this organized. I'm really happy to have this session uh, happening every month. Uh, I think we miss these before you people join this group as builders. So thank you very much to all of you. Okay. Bye-bye, everyone, and good night. Have a nice day, and bye. Bye-bye. Thanks for holding this. Excellent. Thank you. Thank you. Bye, bye, everyone. Good night. Bye. Thank you. Happy Friday. Tomorrow. Bye. Namrata, amazing job. This is phenomenal. I think all of you guys pulled off a very, very top-notch event. Namrata, you yes, want to stop Amrita, recording? just all of y'all. Stop Thanks recording. You. Oh, yes. Yeah, this is the most <laughs>